Well, hey, everybody. Jig and Jerry here. Well, I'll tell you what. You know, February has slipped us by. It was a little chilly. It was cold. The water temperatures were really low through February, so it made it rough to get some fishing in. But I will show you what we did in February. It is now March, beginning of March, and the water temperature is just starting to come back as of this first week. The water temperature started out at around 46 degrees is as low as I've seen it so far and it made it really hard to find trout and get the bite on out here. But as I'm walking out here and I'm looking at the morning sights and uh, staring away and daydreaming on how the fishing is going to be, um, I'll just uh, go ahead and show you what myself and others have been able to get into again and uh, give you the fishing report to see what you might have a chance on getting a hold of out here at the Mount Pleasant Pier. So, let's get busy. Now, as you can see out here at the Mount Pleasant Pier, cold, nice sea trail. He just swooped at my uh, voodoo shrimp in it nailed him in the side. Uh, luckily he's a keeper because he's pretty damaged pretty bad. But uh, let's get him cleaned off here. See how many inches he is here. A little thin in the back, 17 inch sea trout. Not too bad, huh? Not too shabby. He's made good eat. Let's see if we can get some more. All right, well, you know these trout here get a, uh, a little uh, hard to catch here as the water temperature drops. Now that this is in uh, towards the end of February, now that it's March, uh, the water temperature is still a little cold, but it's coming back up. And as the water temperature comes back up, uh, so do the bite on these trout. So I'll tell you what, uh, let's get into some other fish and uh, see what else is going on. All right. Oh, shoot, he's at 18. 18. Yep. 18 inch sheep. Woohoo! Good job. Nice fish, Don. Nice. Thank you. Good job. Got him on clam. On clam. Rubber clams. Rubber clams. <laughs> Real clams. That's a nice fish. Wow. All right, I caught the biggest fish I've ever caught. Check it out. It's a monster. I think it's a blenny. He got one. Yes. Man, I didn't even know he was on my hook. <laughs> well, I'm continuing here on and off through this, uh, next few weeks trying to find trout to see if uh, they're going to continue to bite as this water temperature drops. Um, now I'm not having too much more luck, but you know, we'll keep trying for those sheephead as well. That bite's going to slender down. 
So let's see what's up. Hey guys. You know what Chicken Jerry here at the Mount Pleasant Pier. It is the beginning of March. And in the beginning of March, usually we start to see a little bit more action in the sheep pit. The large sheep pit start to move out. But uh, in this case, the water temperature for the beginning of March is only 46 degrees over here at the Mount Pleasant Pier. Now, when the water temperature is 46 degrees, not many things I like to uh, stick around. Today is a test day. I'm going to test some regular shrimp for the kids and other people. I want to have a good time fishing out here to see if they uh, anything's biting on the shrimp. Let's see if any whiting or croakers are hanging around. Uh, black sea bass, you know. And of course, uh, I'm going to go around with my ultralight and see if there are any sheephead still around in this cold water. If there is, we'll get back to you and we'll check it out. See that hit? Oh, 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 that was nice. We'll check that out. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Look, this was a bigger fish, but it actually went by a shrink ray as I was reeling it in. Hey, look, it's March. There are sheep hit out. It's, the water's 48 degrees, so we're actually lucky to find anything. It's sunny over here, and, and others, and a bunch of regulars back, fishing it up, trying to find bigger versions of the... <laughs> but we'll see what else we get later. All right, guys, Jake and Jerry here. It's really windy. Out here at the Mount Pleasant Pier, as you can see, look at Sonny over there. He's uh, hiding behind a pole, trying not to get blown away. And uh, see everybody trying to hang on. And I've got a micro kite that uh, Chris Pounder, manager at the Mount Pleasant Pier, gave me. He said, Jerry, try this. Well, it's windy enough, so here he is, guys. Woohoo! Now, Sonny, that was hiding behind the pole over there, is a 20 year veteran or over fishing at the Folly Pier. Uh, he came out here uh, to fish with some sheephead. So uh, I really want to concentrate. Uh, he did a great job in this cold, windy day and landed some nice sheephead. So let me show you what he got into. All right. All right, Sonny. <laughs> you found the only black drum in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Sonny, you found a sheep head. Yes, I did. <laughs> and March. Thanks for the help, brother. March sheep head. <laughs> Thank you. Woo! Sonny got his March sheep head. Look at that. <laughs> See, they're there. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. All right, guys, you got Sonny here that's caught this nice uh, sheep head and actually did me a favor and got my rig back from earlier on an eight pound test ultralight line. <laughs> catches it this guy's still eating with my old hook in his mouth <laughs> good job man thank you brother you got him coming up yeah. woohoo yeah hey sonny are you enjoying this sheep heading in this horrible weather yes i am man <laughs> look at that there you go what's up buddy you just got spanked spanked an old one there, Sonny. Look at him. Beauty. Let's get a measurement on him. Yes, sir. I'm going... My, leg, my legs are... <laughs> my legs are shaking, man. <laughs> Woohoo! That's the fish. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> oh, it's cold. Good job. Oh. Look at even his teeth are gray. That is not no spring chicken right there, buddy. <laughs> Let's get an inline shot. You ready? Let's get two of them. One with the sun facing you. 
That is a nice shot. Good job, Sonny. Okay. All right, look, sheephead fishing, it's getting late, sun's almost down, but not everything's a sheephead. Now that eel looks mad, doesn't he? Look at that. Even they like clam. Let me get him off of there. And, uh, I guess I'm going to go home. Later. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the show. And uh, don't forget, look down. There's a subscribe button. And only let you know when I have more shows available. And you're welcome to come out. You never know. You might end up on the Jig and Jerry show. So, like I always say, good luck out there. Have fun fishing. And, uh... Continue watching, and you can watch what I do in the afternoon when I'm just daydreaming and drooling out there in the water, staring at these uh, awesome dolphins, having a great time. Take care.